Dear viewers, welcome to the NoorSat Satellite Station and Telenumier TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis, the prayer that Jesus taught us is the only source of light and strength. His Majesty King Abdullah II bestowed the State Centennial Medal on the Patriarch of the Holy City, Benedictus I. Patriarch Theophilus III confers the degree of the economist upon Father Yusuf Hamarne. The Latin parish of Jerusalem celebrates the end of the Marian month. We also have divine liturgies in the churches of the kingdom to grant parishioners first communion and confirmation. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teaching and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis spoke during his meeting with the faithful present in St. Peter's Square in the Vatican on the subject of the prayer that Jesus taught us, which is for us and for our benefit, since prayer is the only source of light and strength. His Holiness indicated that prayer is our permanent intercessor with the Father, and His Holiness said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking faithful wish to express to you their sentiments of respect and esteem and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. The Holy Father will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he willingly extends to all children and young people, the elderly and the sick. His Holiness also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's words this morning. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis and prayer, we now consider Jesus as the model of prayer for his disciples. The Gospels show us that the Lord chooses his apostles only after a night of intense prayer. Before every crucial moment in his ministry, Jesus withdraws to pray. Only after long prayer does Jesus question the disciples about their faith in him and then reveal to them his coming passion, death, and resurrection. On the Mount of the Transfiguration, Peter, James, and John then see the Lord in prayer, revealed in his glory as the beloved Son of the Father. At the Last Supper, he assures Peter that he has prayed for him, for his conversion, and his, for his uh, future mission. Like the apostles, we too can count on the Lord's prayer to sustain us in our journey of faith and discipleship. The Catechism reminds us that the reason Jesus, seated at the right hand of the Father, constantly intercedes before him on our behalf. As we strive to persevere in prayer, may we be confident that our petitions will rise to heaven on ego's wings, and with and in Jesus always find a hearing before the throne of the Father. The Holy Father will now greet the English-speaking faithful in Italian. Saluto cordialmente i fedeli di lingua inglese. L'imminente celebrazione della solennità del corpo e del sangue di Cristo ci renda più consapevoli della presenza reale di Gesù in mezzo a noi nell'Eucaristia. Su di voi e sulle vostre famiglie invoco la gioia e la pace del Signore. Dio vi benedica. I cordially greet the English speaking faithful. May the coming celebration of the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ deepen our awareness of the real presence of Jesus among us in the Eucharist. Upon you and your families, I invoke the joy and peace of the Lord. May God bless you. As part of the Kingdom's celebrations of the 75th Independence Anniversary, His Majesty King Abdullah II bestowed the State Centennial Medal on Patriarch of the Holy City, Benedictus I, where the medal was received by His Beatitude Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, Patriarch of the Holy City and the rest of Jordan and Palestine. This was during a majestic royal celebration that was held at Ragadan Palace to honor a group of the nation's pioneers in various fields. In Jerusalem, his Beatitude Patriarch Theophilus III 
Patriarch of the Holy City and Chairman of the Heads of Churches Council in Jordan, welcome representatives of the European Union for Peace in the Middle East and a number of ambassadors and representatives of the countries of the Union in Jerusalem and Ramallah. His beatitude affirmed during the meeting which was attended by the heads of the churches of the Holy Land that the Christian clergymen work for justice and peace and the preservation of churches' property, particularly the Bab al-Khalil real estate which is the main entrance for Christian pilgrims to Jerusalem. For their part, the heads of churches affirmed that Christians are holders of historical rights in the Holy Land, pointing to the importance of the Hashemite guardianship over Christian and Islamic holy sites in the Holy Land, and the distinguished leading role played by His Majesty King Abdullah II in preserving and protecting the holy sites in the city of Jerusalem. The parish of the Latin Monastery of the Savior in Jerusalem celebrated the end of the Marian month. The Patriarch of the Latins in Jerusalem, Pier Battista Pizzabella, a number of patriarchs, priests, monks and nuns, and a large group of believers participated in the celebration. Father Amjad Sabbara presided over the Divine Liturgy in the Church of the Monastery of the Savior. Thereafter, Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella presided over the traditional session after the liturgy, carrying the icon of the Virgin Mary, which started through the alleys of the Old Town, to end in the square of the Savior Monastery, where Patriarch Pizzabella granted the final blessing to the believers, and then members of the Arab Catholic Scout Group carried the figure of the Virgin Mary to roam the streets of the Christian neighborhood in the Old City. On the other hand, the Higher Presidential Committee for the Follow-up of Churches Affairs in Palestine inaugurated the cemetery of the town of Zababde in Jenin Governorate. His beatitude Pierre Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, and the Governor of Jenin, Akram Rjoub, heads of churches and a number of Governorate officials, participated in the inauguration ceremony. During the ceremony, Rjoub affirmed that President Mahmoud Abbas does not differentiate between Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem, calling on the world to pressure the occupation to stop its attacks on Islamic and Christian holy sites. For his part, Patriarch Pizzabella clarified the importance of the town of Zababde for the Latin Patriarchate, indicating that the committee will purchase the neighboring plot of land to expand the cemetery. In the same context, the parish of Our Lady of the Visitation of the Latins in Zababde celebrated the first communion and confirmation of 23 of her sons and daughters during a festive mass presided over by his beatitude, Patriarch Pizzabella, on his first visit to the parish of Zababde since his appointment as Patriarch of Jerusalem for the Latins. Divine Masses were held in the local churches in the kingdom to grant a number of the sons and daughter of the parish's first communion and confirmation, as the Latin Virgin of Nazareth Parish in Swafiyya in Amman celebrated the granting of a number of its sons and daughters first communion and confirmation during a holy mass presided over by Bishop William Shomeli, Bishop of the Latins in Jordan, with the assistance of Father Antoine Hremat, the pastor of the church, and in the presence of a group of believers. <laughs>
parish of the Church of Jesus the King for the Latins in Al Mustar celebrated the Divine Liturgy on the occasion of the celebration of the First Communion and Confirmation for a group of the parishioners. The Mass, which was attended by a number of believers, was presided over by Bishop William Shomali, Bishop of the Latins in Jordan, with the assistance of Father Marwan Hassan, the pastor of the Church. And in the Church of St. Paul the Apostle for the Latins in Jebeha, the parish of the Church celebrated the First Communion and Confirmation during a divine liturgy presided over by His Eminence Bishop William Shomali, Bishop of the Latins in Jordan, with the assistance of Father Butrus Ahjazin, pastor of the Church, and Father Suleiman Hifawi, the assistant priest, in the presence of a group of believers. In Karak Governorate, His Eminence Bishop William Shomali presided over the Mass of the fourth Sunday of the Glorious Easter in the parish of the Virgin, Lady of the Rosary for the Latins in city of Karak. His Eminence was assisted by Father Faris Siriani, the parish priest, with the participation of Father Samir Mdanat and Father Salam Haddad. During the Mass, His Eminence granted the sacrament of the First Communion and Holy Confirmation to a blessed group of sons and daughters of the parish. In the Sermon of the Masses, His Eminence Archbishop Shomali spoke about the Holy Spirit and its talents when it came upon the disciples and how it will come upon the believers today, focusing on introducing the sacraments of communion and confirmation and how the Christian person becomes strong by the grace of the sacrament of communion and the grace of the mystery of confirmation in order for him to be proud of his faith and defend it so he could build his life on a rock of faith. I want to affirm that we are witnesses of that, that the Holy Spirit has a major role in the Church and in our lives. When you are hesitant about any decision you want to make or how to respond in an embarrassing situation, seek the help of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost comes to guide, support, strengthen and console you. Ask of it with simple words, Come Holy Spirit, and fill the minds of the faithful, ignite the fire of your love in them. Or say the verse that we always say, Send your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. My brothers and sisters, I would like to congratulate our children who are receiving their First Communion, as they will receive the Holy Spirit, the first gift, and they will receive its seven gifts that are shown in front of us, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, 
and fear of God. This spirit is what fills us with its fruits that are written on the other side, joy, love, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. And each spiritual fruit would be from the Holy Spirit. In another context, and in Al Musdar area in the capital Amman, a ceremonial mass was held on the occasion of the graduation of the high school students of Latin Musdar School. The mass was presided over by Father Marwan Hassan, the parish priest, assisted by Father Wissam Mansour, the general manager of the Latin Patriarchate Schools in Jordan. <laughs> Today, the Bible brings a nice coincidence and a message to be delivered to our students and us as well, for our future and a source to our Christian life. God loves us and takes care of us. We should keep that in mind. Last week, we read about the Good Shepherd and celebrated him, the shepherd that looks after us. Today, Jesus Christ gives us another example about God's care for us through the example of the vine and its branches. How much God loves us. He says, whoever sticks with me is the one that bears fruit. What is the role of the vine and what is the role of the branch? The vine gives us the nutrition and food to the branch, and the branch has one role only, to bear fruits. It takes advantage of the nutrition that is provided, non-stop to the branch in order for it to be fruitful. Here lies the love of God to us. God loves us and takes care of us. He gives us all the blessings that we need. But for us to be smart today is for us to bear fruit that shows we are united with God Almighty and that we love God back. And in the city of Fahis in Balqa Governorate, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary for the Latins, Fahis, celebrated the conclusion of the Marian month through a divine mass and the rosary which was presided over by Father Humam Khzouz, member of the ecclesiastical court, and with the participation of Father Imad Atwal, the parish priest, and his assistant, Father Mikhail, and the faithful. By the end of the Mass, the priest and the faithful rotated the statue of the Virgin around the courtyard of the church. In the city of Bethlehem in Palestine, a festive Mass was held to grant the sacrament of confirmation to 66 members of the Latin parish. The Mass was presided over by the Latin Patriarch in the Holy City, Pier Battista Pizzabella, and in the presence of a number of priests and the faithful. More in the message of our representative in the Holy Land, Marlene Hadwe. 
His beatitude, Patriarch Piet Batista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over a festive mass conferring the Sacrament of Confirmation to the parishioners in Santa Catrina Church in the city of Bethlehem, with the participation of Father Ramia Sakria, priest of the Latin Parish, Father Ibrahim Shomali, the Patriarchate's Secretary, Father Sandro, the Assistant Priest, Father Firas Abdrabbo, the priests and the deacons, and in the presence of nuns, parents, and and godparents, and with the melodies and hymns of the church choir that revived the Mass, the celebration began with the entry of the procession of the Patriarch and the students who are requesting the Sacrament of Confirmation, and in the Patriarch's speech, in which he expressed his happiness with the presence in the church, and with the girls and boys who were celebrated, who were 66 students, he blessed the celebration by the coming of the Holy Spirit in conjunction with the Pentecost cost, which is the victory of Christ and his resurrection from the dead. During the liturgy, ceremonies were held to give the sacrament of confirmation, where the students, along with their godparents, came to the temple with great joy to obtain the sacred sacrament, which is one of the secrets of the Catholic Church. To see this time after Corona, the church full of people, which is a sign of uh, life going back despite all the situation. And uh, it is very beautiful to, f to see 67, 67 children, means parish is alive, has a future, that in the day of Pentecost received the Holy Spirit and became strong in the Holy Spirit and the, in the life of the Church. At the end of the Mass, Father Asakriya thanked his beatitude, the Patriarch, the students, the godparents, the parents, and the attendees, as well as the nuns, and the supervisors of training individuals for the sacrament. He also thanked the choir and the Thera Sanctuary Scout Group for its role in maintaining order. On the other hand, with the aim of solidarity with Christians in Gaza Strip, the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Pier Battista Pizzabella, called on all believers in the churches within the scope of the Patriarchate to collect donations and provide aid to the affected and needy Christian groups in Gaza. And his beatitude considered that the suffering of the residents of Gaza escalated by the confrontations and the attacks. At a time when everyone is suffering from the corona pandemic, from his standpoint, he called the believers to share the resources they have in order to alleviate the pain and suffering of their Christian brothers in Gaza. In the presence of his beatitude, Patriarch Theophilus III, Patriarch of the Holy City, the Orthodox Church celebrated the half-fifty feast mass, where the service was held by Archmandrite Christophorus Haddad in the church of the monastery of St. Nectarius in Swafiya Amman. In the presence of a group of believers amid precautionary and safety measures. After the Mass, his beatitude bestowed the rank of economist on Father Yusuf Hamarne, pastor of St. George Church in Madaba, giving him the pendant of the Holy Cross, wishing him continued health, wellness, and blessed service. An aviation support agreement was signed at the Tourism Promotion Authority, which includes attracting Armenian tourist delegations to Jordan. In the presence of the Director General of the Tourism Promotion Authority, Dr. Abdel Razak Arabiyat, and the Director General of the Armenian Company for Tourism, as of the beginning of next September, with a weekly flight to King Hussein International Airport in Aqaba. Dr. Arabiyat indicated that the authority is working hard to attract tourist planes from other countries, indicating that this agreement will contribute to the return of air traffic and attract more tourist trips to the kingdom. Now, our viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis, the prayer that Jesus taught us is the only source of light and strength. His Majesty King Abdullah II bestowed the State Centennial Medal on Patriarch of the Holy City, Benedictus I. Patriarch Theophilus III confers the degree of the economist upon Father Yusuf Hamarne. The Latin Parish of Jerusalem celebrates the end of the Marian month. Divine liturgies in the churches of the kingdom to grant parishioners First Communion and Confirmation. Until we meet again, have a good day.